Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about NBA players who made NBA change their rules. If you aren't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on those post notifications. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Number one, Wilt Chamberlain. Well, Wilt the Stilt was without any single kind of doubt the most dominant NBA player during his entire career, being the lone 100 point scorer in a single game as well as owning the record for most NBA records. And as a matter of fact, due to Wilt's dominance, the league made several changes to the books, like for instance, they actually widened the lane from 12 to 16 feet, as well as introducing offensive goaltending and interference. Besides, they forbid to inbound the rock over the backboard, as Wilt constantly received lobs to dunk on inbounds. And they also prohibited players from crossing the free throw line during a free throw, as Wilt constantly did so to dunk and get two points instead of one. Number 2. Reggie Miller Reggie Miller made a name for himself due to his relentless and consistent three-point shooting, being able to pull up or catch and shoot from anywhere on the floor to score three-pointers, being the first reliable threat from downtown in the history of the league. But besides this, Miller was actually quite clever and crafty, so he often kicked out to draw contact against everybody that guarded him beyond the arc. Constantly drawing three free throws even if his defender didn't actually touch him, so the league banned that leg kick while shooting. Number 3. Shaquille O'Neal Shaq was, no questions asked, the most dominant centre in basketball during his entire career, showing absolutely no liabilities or mercy on defence or offence, and being able to put 30 points with 4 swats with great ease as if he was playing against children. In fact, people actually tried to foul him and they wound up getting hurt. O'Neill made the league change the materials of the backboards once again after Daryl Dawkins forced them earlier, changed how zone defence was played and even changed one rule, the hacker shack. That meant players couldn't intentionally foul opposing players that didn't have the ball in their hands during the last two minutes of the game, or they would reward the opposing teams with two free throws and the ball, as you see now against Andre Drummond, Dwight Howard, Hassan Whiteside, and DeAndre Jordan. Number 4. Charles Barkley The undersized power forward was also extremely pesky, crafty and dominant during his prime practically single-handed leading the Phoenix Suns to contention despite never being able to lead them to a championship. Besides, Barkley made the league change one particular rule, the booty rule. Barkley would actually use his butt to post defenders for as long as 20 seconds before actually shooting the ball, so in response to that, the league stated that no player below the free throw line could actually do this for longer than 5 seconds. And at number 5, again we have Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, he did it once again. Remember what we told you about zone defence? Well, you have to thank the 3 second rule to the big man. As David Stern had to do something to try and stop him from completely dominating and shattering everybody in the paint. Before Shaq's three-peat zone defense wasn't allowed in the paint, before Shaq's three-peat zone defense wasn't allowed in the paint, and all coverage had to be man-to-man, -man, but even the biggest and strongest guys couldn't contain O'Neal, and needed extra help, changing the way every team in the NBA defends the lane nowadays. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like the video and turn on those post notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.